Hello, my name is Dr. Srikant V. I'm a practicing plastic and cosmetic surgeon. I'm currently based in Bangalore. I'm also the director of Clinic Bell in Kormangla, which specializes in hair transplantation. I also practice at Manipal Hospitals in Old Airport Road, Bangalore. What are the surgeries for cleft lip and palate? Now, the fortunate part about cleft lip and palate, it is, it is completely treatable. We can treat a patient of cleft lip and palate completely so that they are com absolutely normal and fully rehabilitated into society. The first surgery that needs to be done for the patient with the cleft lip and palate is at the age of three months. At three months of age or four months of age, when the child is grown up and is able to tolerate an general anesthesia, we repair the cleft. Uh, lip. Sometimes we also may treat the nose so that the nose grows into a better position. Once this is done, then at the age between six to nine months of age, we operate on the palate. So when we operate on the palate, this allows the palate to heal and develop as close to normal as possible so that they have proper speech. Between the age of one year to four years, the child needs extensive speech therapy. Some of these children during the time of either the lip or palate may have ear infection and in which case we use the services of an ENT surgeon to insert something called as a grommet in the ear. Now, once this is done, before the age of six, that is the preschool age, if the child has got a bad scar or a tight scar or uh, some sort of scar uh, revision is, needs to be done, that can be done so that the child looks near normal when they go to school at the first standard. At the age of 10 to 11, if there is a gap in the alveolus, we do something called as a bone grafting so that the teeth grow normally, the canines grow normally. After this, the child is put on orthodontics and then once the teeth are well aligned, the speech is also going to improve. And once the patient reaches 16 years of age, then they, if the nose is not corrected fully or not to the satisfaction of the patient or the family, we can do what is known as a rhinoplasty, that is correct the nose. Eventually, some of these children with very severe cleft lip and palate may have a retruded upper jaw, that is a receded maxilla. So such patients may need orthognathic surgery to correct the entire deformity that may be included with and without bone grafts. But however, that is a call that has to be taken when the child is only 16 years of age. So, to put it in a nutshell, the surgeries for cleft lip and cleft palate are 3 to 4 months cleft lip surgery, 6 to 9 months cleft palate surgery, preschool age, maybe a scar revision. At 11 years of age, they will require an alveolar bone graft and after 16, they will require a rhinoplasty and in some people, they may require an orthognathic surgery.